So, for me, the dojo is like a temple where we um, we focus on the art of war. Uh, which art you do is up to you. It can be judo, it can be Brazilian jiu-jitsu, wrestling, boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai. It can be learn how to use a knife, whatever you want. But it's about the art of war. So for me, when you walk in the dojo, you are a fighter. Before to be of any gender, uh, religion, or politic belief, you are a fighter and that's it. Of course, uh, you have to take in consideration that uh, some fighters are weaker and some fighters are stronger. Some people are six foot five, 200, uh, 220 pounds of muscle, and some people are 110 pound and small and you cannot treat them the same and the objective is not to break people is to build people as fighter and so when you fight with some people you have to take this in consideration if you are not able to uh, keep your belief your religion or whatever else that has nothing to do with martial art outside of the dojo, I don't think you should uh, go to a dojo. Uh, yeah, that's it. So the rules I put in my dojo are not against anybody or anything. The rules I put in my dojo is because at the end of the day, when someone w walk in is a fighter and I don't care about his belief. If he cannot, if he bring his belief in that make difficult for other people to train, then I think he should leave the belief outside of the door. And if he cannot leave the belief outside the door, he should go with his belief outside of the door.